Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do an extreme clean with me today. I'm going to tackle areas in my home and my life that I've neglected for months and I'm embarrassed about it, but that's why we're here today to get it done. This is a judgment-free zone, so I hope you find some motivation to also tackle the neglected areas in your life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around. If you love decluttering and simple living content, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Here's our very rusty <laughs> toilet brush folder. Got this from Home Goods a few years ago, so it's definitely time for a new one. The brush is also very worn and it's very rusty in here as well. So definitely time for a new toilet brush holder and I'm happy that we finally have a new one so we're going to be using this one this is a new one from simple to me it's a stainless steel toilet brush holder so I'm gonna throw this one out and use this one instead The stainless steel toilet brush from Simple To Me has several features that I want to point out in case you're also on the market for a new toilet brush. This product has stiff nylon bristles, which means you're going to have a more efficient cleaning performance as opposed to something with soft silicone bristles. Also, the enlarged brush head is great for hard to clean areas around the rim of the toilet. My old toilet brush did not have the open base design like this one has, so whenever I'm done cleaning the toilet, I can just put it back in here easily and it can keep it dry. I also like that the base has a non-slip silicone pad to prevent sliding on a smooth tile surface and a non-slip plastic handle with a durable stainless steel rod. I'm hoping that this one will last me a lot longer than the old one as you guys saw was very rusty and I'm hoping this one has no rust or fading over time. If you want to give this a try yourself then you can click the link down in the description box below where you can get 20% off of your purchase. So check it out and let me know what you think. bedroom also needs some tidying. I washed all of my dog's bedding and stuff yesterday so gotta put this away, gotta put this bed together and some of her other stuff away. Need to make the bed and over here on my dresser I have all these things that <laughs> need to be put away as well. Also we need to vacuum lots of fuzzies from the dog beds. This I had to take down to take something out and I just left it there so we gotta throw it back up on there too.
the current state of our kitchen. It is probably the worst out of all the rooms just because the dishes are literally overflowing from the sink. We have stuff sitting on the counter that just needs to be put away. But thankfully, my partner offered to help out with the kitchen today. So it's nice to have help, especially when there's just so much to do. So he's going to take care of this while I focus on the other areas in the home. Prioritized whole nutrition. How cute is this? meat, fish, or poultry is the number one. old shark vacuum recently broke so we got a new one and before the shark one we had a dyson which was the v7 we loved the dyson but decided to just switch over to the shark vacuum since we wanted to try it out that one only lasted a year not even a year almost a year and then it broke so we decided to go back to dyson because we feel like it's better quality if you have a shark or dyson let me know what your thoughts are in the comments we did get one of the newest models and we just love it so much it has a ton of cool features on it and i highly recommend it it is on the pricier side but i think it's worth it and just a friendly reminder everything that i'm using in this video will be linked in the description box below another area in my life that really needs to be cleaned is my car i haven't washed my car in forever it's very gross i hate driving around in a gross car the outside's gross, the inside's gross, it makes me feel gross. So <laughs> I'm finally getting my car washed today and gonna get it vacuumed as well. So I can't wait to have a nice clean car again. that I need to clean is my yoga mat. I never clean this yoga mat. It's probably pretty gross. You can definitely see it needs to be clean. So I didn't really know how the best way to clean a yoga mat is. So I just researched it. You can just use dish soap, warm water, microfiber cloth. I don't have a spray bottle. So I'm just going to Use the dish soap and warm water on a cloth and then we're gonna wipe this down. Swedish cloth for the soap. And now it's time to air dry. Look at how pretty these are. I love having fresh flowers in my home, especially after a nice deep clean. I love this vase. 
got it at a vintage flea market. So pretty. We also have to clean the fridge. Hasn't been cleaned since last month. Freezer isn't too bad, but could just wipe some things down. And then here in the fridge, also need to give it a wipe and organize all of our stuff a little bit better because we have to go grocery shopping soon. As you can see, we have not much stuff in there. And then same thing with here, just wipe everything down. So I'm going to throw this out. We just found out that our dog is possibly allergic to chicken. We gave her a few pieces of this the other day and she broke out in hives. So we're just definitely not going to feed her this. So we're going to throw this out. In this bin we keep um, deli meat and cheese. And I was going to put it away but it looks like this bin is dirty so I need to wash that. This can go back in the fridge. I kind of want to put this in a smaller container so it doesn't take up all that space. I'm not sure what that is. This is still good. Don't know if that's good anymore.
this is the next day and I'm all done up with makeup today because me and my dog just had a photo shoot. It was so much fun. Now that that's all done, I do have some other things that I want to take care of today. Here in the bedroom, I want to go through my closet and just do a little switcheroo of my clothes. It's finally starting to warm up here in Southern California, so I think it's time to move my warm weather stuff like hoodies and long sleeves to the back of the closet and then pull out all of my summery spring clothes. Definitely cannot wear a leather jacket once it gets really warm. So this definitely has to go back. I love this green jacket. I wore it for Christmas last year. Got lots of compliments on it, so definitely want to keep that. I think a jean jacket is still good to have out in the front. It's not too heavy and it's not too lightweight, so it's perfect for those windy and cooler days. So I'm gonna keep this out. This can go in the back. Long sleeve sweater that can also go in the back. These are just little fun jogger pants I like to wear. I think we can keep these out. Here is the back of the closet with all of our other hoodies and jackets and stuff. I do have a lot of them. I do love a good hoodie. So those are all going to stay back there. And then I'm going to bring up these like dresses, this cute summer top another dress so we're gonna move these over there oh man that's heavy Oof. okay mm. so something like super light like this this is a cardigan i think i can leave it out in the front this can go in the back Sometimes when I work out, I like to wear my Nike sweater, so I'll leave that here in the front. And then another really lightweight flannel. This could go just over basically anything. It does get still a little chilly in the mornings, so I'll keep this out too. Now all of these will go in the back. As I'm going through my clothes, I'm setting some aside that I want to declutter as well. This top I love so much. It's so fun to wear in the summertime. So lightweight, so pretty, so this is a key. However, this one here, I'm gonna see if I can sell this. So I'll put that over there. Oh, I forgot I have this. These I have to try on. Don't know if it fits. I have to try on all these dresses because I don't know how they fit. And my little switcheroo is done. Have a few dresses on this hanger here. My regular tops. My graphic tees. And then a couple jackets and my flannel. So that is it for the closet. Mm -hmm.